Yasmin Anan with the news from Bahrain Television. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held today a meeting with Turkish President Erdogan at the presidential palace in the capital Ankara in the presence of both countries' delegations. The meeting included discussions on bilateral deep-rooted relations and regional and international issues. President Erdogan welcomed His Majesty the King and stressed that this visit affirms Bahrain's firm stance to Turkey and its government, which have a profound impact that will always be memorable. He requested his greetings to be conveyed to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa. He also praised the deep rooted bilateral relations and stressed the need for enhancing cooperation in the military, economy and commerce, and exchange expertise in the fields of health, energy, and manufacturing. He also called for encouraging tourism between the two countries. President Erdogan called for holding the Economic Committee meeting in Turkey during the last quarter of the year in order to strengthen cooperation and economic and commercial trade. He also invited his his Majesty to attend the Energy Conference to be held next October in Turkey, hailing Bahrain's stances against terrorist groups. His Majesty delivered a speech welcoming the return of stability and peace to Turkey, wishing it and its people prosperity. His Majesty also thanked President Erdogan for the invitation and for the warm hospitality. He stressed the importance of continued communication between the two countries, praising Turkey's historic position and a role model that should be followed highlighting the bilateral brotherly ties. His Majesty said the visit will provide opportunities of joint action and enhance bilateral relations, pointing to the common Islamic cultures and civilizational heritage between the two countries. Both sides praised the two countries' relations, affirming the importance of consultations, coordination, increasing visits and the exchange of expertise. They hailed the progress of cooperation between their private sectors and businessmen, praising both countries' environment for various projects. His Majesty praised Turkey's economic achievements, expressing appreciation to the Turkish community in Bahrain and their contributions to the forward march of development. This also affirmed the importance of coordinating issues of common concern on regional and international levels in order to serve the project or the, and protect Arab and Islamic issues. They affirmed their support to all efforts aimed at combating terrorism and maintaining the security and stability of the region. His Majesty praised Turkey's role in supporting Arab and Islamic issues. In the presence of His Majesty the King and the Turkish President, a number of agreements and memoranda of understanding were signed between the two countries. An MOU for cooperation in youth and sports fields was signed by His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Turkish Minister for Sports and Youth Kagate Kilic. An agreement for legal cooperation in civil, commercial and forensic fields was signed by the Foreign Minister, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Turkish Justice Minister, Bekir Buzadag. A protocol to amend and complete some provisions of the agreement signed between the two countries' governments regarding air services was also signed by Bahrain's Foreign Minister and the Turkish Minister for Transport and Air Navigation, Ahmed Aslan, an executive program for cultural cooperation was also signed by Bahrain's foreign minister and Turkish minister of education, Nabi Avci. A protocol of cooperation between the University of Bahrain and the Turkish Yunus Emery Institute was signed by Bahrain's foreign minister and the president of the institute, Professor Dr. Sharif H. His Majesty the King and the Turkish President commanded the signing of the agreements which will contribute to the development of bilateral relations and reinforce joint cooperation for the best interest of both peoples. His Majesty the King attended a dinner banquet held in the honor by the Turkish President at the Presidential Palace in Ankara. His Majesty's accompanying delegation and senior Turkish officials also attended the banquet. The two leaders exchanged friendly talks on the deep-rooted bilateral relations and joint cooperation in various fields. Both leaders also exchanged commemorative gifts on the occasion. Earlier, His Majesty the King arrived on an official visit at the invitation of the Turkish President. The motorcade of His Majesty the King proceeded to the Presidential Palace in the capital Ankara, where he was welcomed by the President and an official arrival ceremony was held for His Majesty the King. 
In an arrival statement, His Majesty expressed pleasure at visiting Turkey at the President's invitation and said that the visit comes at an important time which requires cohesion and cooperation in the region in order to achieve the aspirations of their peoples. He stressed that the visit will provide an opportunity to upgrade joint cooperation and enhance consultation and coordination towards all regional and international issues. His Majesty highly valued Turkey's stances and support of Bahrain, which rejected all attempts targeting its security and stability. He also reiterated Bahrain's rejection of all attempts targeting the legislative legitimacy of Turkey under the leadership of President Erdogan and his government and to any attempt that may undermine Turkey's security and peace, stressing Bahrain's support to all measures taken by Turkey to maintain the country's stability and safeguard its establishments and hard-won achievements. Onur kutası görüşürüz hazırdır majeste.
Earlier today, His Majesty the King left for Turkey on an official visit at the invitation of President Erdogan. His Majesty was seen off by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and senior officials. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to Italian President Mattarella over the victims of yesterday's earthquake, which hit the central Italian province of Lazio, leaving dozens of people dead and injured. His Majesty expressed deepest condolences to President and the victims' families, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. He sent a similar cable of condolences to Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi. The visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Republic of Turkey will not only discuss ways to boost bilateral relations and joint cooperation, but will also tackle regional and international developments. It will also shed the light on the strong coordination between the two countries in the economic domain. This visit uh, will certainly boost uh, relations in all fields, especially in commercial and trade uh, area, uh, because I believe that the private sectors of the two countries uh, will uh, take this visit uh, as an encouragement to become more active and more interactive actually uh, and uh, accommodate the uh, will uh, of the two sides uh, people. And um, after all Turkey is the, has a uh, steadily developing economy. Uh, it is the sixth largest economy in Europe and the 17th largest economy in the world. Uh, on the other hand when we look Bahrain uh, Bahrain is one of the, uh, the best countries in this region for investment uh, opportunities and long-term development uh, plans are ongoing. Bahrain and Turkey enjoy outstanding cooperation on various aspects, including tourism, banking, agriculture and construction industries, which resulted in establishing the Bahraini Turkish Business Council, Bahraini Turkish Working Committee, as well as the Tourism and Trade Office of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus and Bahrain in June 2010. The historic trade partnership has continually been expanding thanks to numerous agreements and MOUs in the economic, commercial and financial areas. Bahrain, on the other hand, uh, is a business-friendly country and it is offering uh, a lot of opportunities for foreign investment. Uh, so I believe that His Majesty's visit uh, will uh, encourage both sides, private sectors, uh, to sit down and uh, to come out with some joint projects. The royal visit is expected to witness discussing ways to activate present agreements and also sign more memoranda to contribute to the development of both countries' economies. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, sent a cable of condolences to the Italian President over the victims of the earthquake which hit the province of Lazio in central Italy yesterday, leaving dozens of people dead and injured. The Crown Prince expressed deepest condolences to President Mattarella and the victims' families, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. He sent a similar cable of condolences to the Italian Prime Minister. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Youth City 2030 for 2016 ended yesterday after six successful weeks of workshops and programs. Sarah Borek reports. For the seventh consecutive year, the Youth City has completed the vision it has set out to accomplish, and they exceeded any expectations put for them. Youth City is an annual event organized by Bahrain's General Organization for Youth and Sports. It focuses on needed growth areas for Bahraini youth, because after all, the youth is the future of any nation. Our youth is uh, our safeguard, to be honest. Bahrain today stands on its feet, stands strong by its youth. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we are very proud to have such caliber. They are serious, they are very cooperative, they are very innovative and clever and intelligent uh, boys and girls. Um, this youth city, what, uh, what it does actually, it makes them experience and what I really uh, care about is not just an experience. What I care about is their jobs, their careers. It's not just a case of to have a career or a job. It's to love what they do, 
when they love what they do, then they become much better and much productive to our country and to our uh, uh, region. But Alhamdulillah, this kind of project we do is the real deal for our youth. But we are feeling safe, we are happy, we are very confident that we have people like this. Because when we come now to give awards, it became so difficult for us uh, because the standards just jumped way high. One of the main objectives of GOIS during this youth city was to promote environmental consciousness by using a production material strategically. This is to prepare them for the future requirements of the kingdom. This is Sarah Barek for Bahrain 55. The Minister of Housing, Bassam Al Hamar, announced that the Ministry has completed the distribution of 3,000 housing units at the direction of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier. Mr. Al Hamar also said the Ministry was preparing to distribute 3,200 units in the next phase under the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He said the Ministry had completed 14 projects in different governorates, reflecting the keenness of the leadership and the government to meet citizens' housing demands. He noted that His Majesty the King's directives specify the construction of 40,000 housing units by 2018, affirming the Ministry's readiness to implement His Majesty's directives and boost its partnership with the private sector.